A woman is speaking up after her dog was killed by a coyote near Tanner Park. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson spoke with both the woman and animal services officers. Oh, he's a feisty little guy. He's feisty, but so, so lovable too. This burial site is all Leslie Walker has left of her five-year-old miniature schnauzer named Blaze. He was, he was my best friend. Thursday morning, Walker says her daughter let Blaze and his little niece Lizzie outside. She says the backyard fence was open and he must have wandered past it. My other dog came to the door to be let back in, but Blaze didn't come. That's when she knew something was wrong. My husband went down there and then he came back and he said it came within three feet of a coyote. Blaze was already dead. A sign warning visitors of a recent coyote attack now stands at the trailhead of Tanner Park, which is right below Walker's house and where hundreds of people walk their dogs each day. Not so often, but every once in a while, there, we do get cases of wildlife attacking um, domestic animals, that's cats and dogs. This spring in particular, Sergeant Jose Martinez with Salt Lake County Animal Services says they're seeing wildlife come down sooner and in higher numbers in search of food at lower elevations. Just the heavy snowpack that came in the early year, lots of wildlife has came down as well as the elk. Um, we do have mountain lions, bobcats have came down, um, but this is kind of a new one this year. He says to always watch small children and dogs, keep dogs on a leash, and if you do encounter one, make a lot of noise. If it's in your backyard, as this case with Blaze, probably motion sensor lights, sprinkler systems, um, take any type of feed, food. It doesn't seem like the animals are going anywhere anytime soon. Oh my, here it comes. Walker's neighbor capturing this video of a coyote in her backyard Tuesday afternoon. She's telling Blaze's story so people are aware this summer. I don't really want any anybody else to have to go through what we did. It was one thing for me to grieve, but to see my kids grieve too, and it was kind of heart-wrenching. In Mill Creek, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.